Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. Microsoft released a new Windows 80K version 10.1.26100.1 for May 2024. Now this will be officially the Windows 11 24H2 version. And we're going to update our MDT server with this newest version. Now there are a few changes that need to be made, but we'll go through and we'll fix those. Johan had released a nice fix for the um, imaging tool, the cat generating our CAD logs. And there's also the WinPE OCS because just as with 22H2, we no longer have 32-bit or x86, okay? So let's get going. So first things first, let's log in, control alt insert, put in your ADM account, and we'll get to our start menu, right click, run, type appwiz.cpl. This will open up your programs and features. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And first, we're going to remove the Windows PE environment. So uninstall that. Click Yes. And let that uninstall, and I'll be right back. OK, we're back with that. Let's click Close. And now we'll remove the ADK itself. Right click, uninstall, Yes. And we'll come back when that's ready to go. OK, and that's done. So click close. We're going to close this here and we're going to browse to our file explorer. We're going to go to C program files x86 and we're going to shift, hold down shift, right click on Windows kits and click delete to get rid of that. And now what we'll do is we'll go to our G drive where our file share is. We're going to go to our Windows ADK, our ADK folder. We're going to double click, select all, we're going to hold down shift, and right click delete, yes. We'll go to our Windows PE folder, do the same thing, select all, right click, delete shift. And if you have anything in the cumulative updates folder, go ahead and delete that as well. And now what we'll do is we're going to go to our, we're going to open up edge from our taskbar here. We'll go to the ADK website and you'll see the newest one here, May 2024. And you'll see the two links here. So we're going to click that first link, save as, and we're going to save it to our ADK folder. So go ahead and control V, save, and save one more time. And then the Windows PE add-on, click on that save as and we'll save that in our windows pe folder save one more time there we go now this was released this month so there are no updates yet for 24h2 but if you're downloading this and watching this video on june 11th or above you're going to go to your catalog.update.microsoft.com and you'll do a search here and of course, replace XX with the month. So next month, you'll put 06. So there we go. And just do a search. And it should come up with a update here. OK. So if that update does come up, go ahead and download that and put it in that CU or cumulative updates folder. All right. And we can close Edge. We're going to go to our Windows ADK folder. We're going to double click our ADK setup. We're going to click on download the Windows assessment because we want to keep the files in this folder in case we need to reinstall. OK, so we'll highlight here. We're going to place it in that folder. That's our download path. Next. No. Next. Accept. And there we go. And I'll be back when that's done. OK, and now that our ADK is downloaded, we're here. We're actually going to install it. So let's go here, double click our ADK setup. Next, no, next, accept. We're going to only check our 
user state migration tool and our deployment tools. So uncheck configuration designer and you should have those two. Now click install and we'll wait till that's done and I'll come back. Okay, and our ADK is now installed. All right, now we're going to go to our Windows PE. All right, so let's browse to our Windows ADK folder, Windows PE, and double click our ADK when PE setup executable. We're going to also download that. And this is going to be our download path. So let's highlight here, Control V, next, no, next, accept, and I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, and that's now downloaded, so now we're going to install it. So double click your ADK when PE setup executable again, leave it at the default, next, no, next, accept, and of course there's only one here, Windows PE, click install, and I'll be back as soon as that's done. And we're back, let's click close. Now just as we did with the 22H2, with the 24H2, we're going to take Johan's advice and we're going to of course add our folder, which will be our WinPE OCS, but of course because this doesn't support 32-bit, we're going to have to create one for 32-bit. And it's just because MDT is looking for that folder, as long as it exists, we're good to go. Okay, so we'll highlight from 111 all the way up to 110. Right click, copy. We'll go to our terminal, right click, do Windows PowerShell, just like that. Right click to paste. It created our folder and just press enter to exit. Okay, now we're going to click start. Right click on Notepad++, more. We're going to run this as administrator because we're going to actually fix another file. Okay, so you can see this here on line 120, file open. And this is in our MDT environment. Now, this is a fix for our catalog. Okay, so if you try to generate catalogs, it will fail. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add the platform to our environment. And because it's 64 bit, x64 it's going to add the x64 right here on this image manager line okay and you can notice it's only says WSIM because the newer version uses the platform so we're gonna highlight that line just like this and we're gonna copy this line control V to paste and save. Okay. Now we can close Notepad++. Now, like I said, we're going to close all applications and all Explorer windows. Now, if an ADK update was available next month, what you'll do is you're going to replace this line, 143, with the name of the MSU because you placed it in your CU folder. Okay. And you'll run from line 159 all the way up to 141 from your Windows terminal. So you'll right click, PowerShell, paste these lines, and then once it's done, you can exit out. Okay, and that will update your boot whim. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to click start, our deployment workbench, and we're going to update our deployment workbench with the newest version. So let's expand that. Let's go to our MDT deployment share, right click, click update deployment share. I'm going to click completely regenerate the boot images. Next, next, and let that go. And it'll say changes have been made. Boot image will be updated. And so I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, and we're back. I made a little slight change to this file. So you'll see that when you download it. So click finish, All right? and we'll close our deployment workbench, okay? Now we're gonna click on start. We're gonna open up our Windows deployment services. We're gonna expand servers right down here, okay? Expand MDT, click on boot images, and we'll see our old light touch. I'm gonna right click, click replace image, and we're gonna choose this path, 
which is where our new Light Touch VB, our Light Touch WIM is. Click Next, 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 and Next. It's going to replace that Light Touch file so that when you Pixie Boot, it will use this new boot image. I'll be back. Well, I didn't have to leave. That was quick. The image was successful, replaced on the server. Okay, click Finish, and you're good to go. You can close Windows Deployment Services. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments section, and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you all later.